Hey everybody, it's Alan Ward here, and today in this video, I'd like to talk to you about the Tweet Adder software, um, in particular how you follow people through Tweet Adder. So, on the um, left hand side is a list of my statistics, and um, up here across the top is the um, the tabs, the options we've got them on the follow option. So. In the previous video, I showed you how to use the search function to find people who you are interested in following on Twitter. And um, in on the left-hand side here in my to-do section, I've imported a whole bunch of um, Twitterers that I would like to follow. Uh, now, the problem with Twitter, or not really a problem, it's probably a sensible thing, is that you can't just follow 15,000 people at once. That's just ridiculous. Um, and with Twitter, it's very important to keep things within certain ratios. So what TweetAdder does is it allows me to send follows in a regular manner to these people. So the way I've set it up, send follows now, how many do you want to send at a time? This can be 100, um, it could be 500, it could be 50, it could be 10. Whatever numbers you want, you just basically highlight it and, and change it. Um, the other option down here is, is following back users who are following me. And again, what it's doing here is saying how many of these people at a time do you want Tweet Adder to follow back? Um, you could set it at 100. Um, again, you could change this. There we go. We'll set it to 200. Um, doesn't really matter. Then down here, follow settings. The maximum number of follows that you want to send per day. Um, now, again, this could be 50 follows a day. It could be 1,000 follows a day. The time delay between follows. Now, this is important because one of the problems that Twitter has is they don't like people um, using automated means to try and follow people. So um, you can use this software and you can certainly extend um, the delay. So a lot of times when I use it, it might be somewhere between 8 seconds to um, 30 seconds per follow. Um, so what that means is that when it sends a follow request to one of the people that I want to follow, um, the next one that it sends may happen after 8 seconds, it may happen after 30 seconds, or anywhere in between. Um, so it does space it out, and if you like, becomes a bit more human-like. Um, one of the most important things on this screen is this last bit here. Stop adding follows when following to follower ratio reaches. Um, in this case, 1.1 to 1. So... What this means is, um, within Twitter, it's very important to keep your following and follower ratio in check. And generally, um, I personally, I think it's safe to be following around 10% more than the number of people who are following you. Within Twitter, let's say that you have 5,000 people following you, then it's probably pretty safe for you to follow 5,500 people. So that's 10% more. But if you go over that, um, I think you may start um, you know, appearing on some Twitter reports and getting your account looked at because it's excessive following. So in a sense, it doesn't matter what your numbers you put up here in terms of sending follows or here in terms of following users who are following you back um, or even here, how many follows to send per day. Probably the important thing on this screen is getting the ratio right. So that if I get up to 1.1 to 1 in the ratio, it'll stop sending follows to new people or following back people. Um, and that's probably the important way that, that you want it to be. At the moment, my ratio here is 1.09 to 1. So I've got room for a few more followers. Now, the other important thing is the order that this gets done in. Now, generally, the way I like to do it is firstly to follow back people who are following me. Um, now, if that pushes me up to the 1.1 to 1 follower ratio, that's fine. I'll stop. Um, but if not, then the second thing I do here is go to send follows now, which is sending follows to new people. Um, and again, um, it will automate it and it will automatically stop either when I've sent out 400 followers a day or when I get to that 1.1 follower ratio. So there you have it. That's the follow function in Tweet Adder. So it certainly makes something that could be time consuming a bit quicker to do. Um, so if you're interested in Tweet Adder, go have a look at www.tweet-profits.com. Um, and you'll be able to get a free demo version of Tweet Adder, uh, which gives you fully functional, uh, everything you've seen on the screen for a full seven days. So give it a go. Thanks for watching.